Good morning. Good morning. Um, this is <clears throat> our fun day at sea, the third one for this cruise. And this is actually our last full day on board the Carnival Freedom. Yep. We're going to get us some breakfast and just kind of explore the ship a little bit. What do you think about um, how we closed out our evening last night? Doug and Jan are cray cray. <laughs> and he had this one too. By oh, now you've oh, probably seen little pizza. snippets. <laughs> yes, with pizza. <laughs> and I had a uh, guy's burger. But by now you've probably seen little snippets of the festivities. Um, all I can say is, wish y'all were here. Ooh. Yeah, boy. <laughs> a good time was had by us, I will tell you. But right now we're going to go get us some breakfast. Mm -hmm. and, and fight the peeling of these sunburnt areas. Look, can you see this ear? It's so sad looking. So grossly sad looking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see y'all a little bit. <laughs> Bye. When you come out of the main atrium here on five, which is the promenade deck, if you stick to the starboard side of the ship, you walk down the main promenade, you walk past the casinos and the casino bar. Sorry, I had to pause for station identification, which means to get a bottle of water. So. <laughs> yeah, we made frequent stops to the Viennese coffee bar over here on our right. And just past it is the Red Frog Pub. Um, home of the uh, infamous happy hours. May or may not have made a few stops in there. <laughs> check your uh, check your hub app. The what's happening? Um, the fun times, if you will. Um, they have different specials running at different times. I think that's where the coffee bar used to be. Then you have the warehouse, which is the arcade. Well, look what you just found. You found a frog nook. Cruise ducks from Ohio. Cruise ducks? Cruise ducks. Cruise ducks. Yes. Okay. <laughs> from Ohio. That's cute. Awesome. <laughs> I was beginning to think that there was only one on this ship because Jennifer said that she just missed one the other day. Yeah. And I found a fault. Yeah. I think this may be one of the first times we've ever been inside of one of these arcades. Yeah. Copyright music notwithstanding. Dots, yeah, this is this is the plucky duck machine. Um, this one is a dollar, but you play until you win. Guaranteed to win every time. That's because you keep playing until you win. Wow. It's the turtle version. 
<laughs> cute. Very cute. Okay, it's official, I'm old now. <laughs> I remember going to an arcade and it was 25 cents a play. Those are a dollar a play. Now mind you, there's some nice looking games in there. I'd probably buy, drop a dollar or two, but. So, at the very rear of the promenade is the alchemy bar, and then behind it is the piano bar. Um, it's been called several different names on different ships, but I didn't know there was a back door. <laughs> and this is the, I'll call it the Showtime Lounge. Um, the punch liner they have in here. I'm not really sure why all these chairs are How moving. It's creepy that they're spinning around. But it's just where the ship is rocking. <laughs> this, the benches, you can turn them on your own or they can turn on their own. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's kind of creepy, but they have the punch liner in here. Sometimes they have karaoke in here. Now we're on five. That one deck below is the upper area of the posh dining room. And then down below that is the main entrance on three of the posh dining room. Now, I believe this swing time is the jazz bar. Yeah. They have trivia in here, um, karaoke in here. Um, good views. The uh, main atrium area up here by the glass elevators on five is where you'll find um, the majority of the fun shops. You also find the upper entrance to the main theater up here. Deck four at the front of the ship, um, you have an entrance to the main show theater uh, when you come off the elevators if you walk toward the front of the ship. Something going on in there, so. Okay, <laughs> as you come out of the theater, we're on the starboard side of the ship. Um, back at the main, the main atrium area um, is the Pixels Gallery. Um, this one is not all digital like some of the other ships. This one is the actual printed out photos. Um, and you can get the, uh, the photo photography accessories. You can buy the GoPro cameras the lanyards, all that good stuff in there as well. But on the port side, I'm going to get the frog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but wait, there's more. Pictures yeah. Pictures yeah, pictures of pictures.
and I'm not sure if it's open right now or not. Why, yes it is. This is the library. They have books, different types of games. Not so comfy chairs. Yeah. <laughs> she said, not so comfy chairs. I'm kind of stuck. This, this was the site of the great Connect Four battle. No adventures ahead. Yeah. So. Read the books, love the games, return the books and the games so everyone else can enjoy them. Oh wow, there's more over here as well. This this seems to me this would be a a quiet place to relax. Um oh wow. I think yeah they've been cleaning we haven't gone through a hurricane or anything so All right. I think yeah this is the first time we've ever been in one, in well, one of the libraries in a long while anyway. yeah and then it closes really easy yeah. And as we were coming down deck five, the promenade deck up there, uh, we passed the station that uh, you select your luggage tags if you choose to debark that way. Um, we just came back to the cabin and here's the other sign um, that this cruise is coming to an end. Coming, not paying, but coming to. Yes, we but are nearing debarkation. We have certainly had a wonderful time. Okay, just came back from the uh, cruise debarkation briefing uh, in the main theater lounge, hosted by James Love, our cruise director. Um, there's a lot of good information that he put out. There's been a few changes since the last time we cruised, so I'm really glad I went. Um, I suggest that you check that out. Because um, they've, they've changed the uh, debarkation process enough to where if I went by the last time we got off of a cruise ship, we would be delayed a little while. So. Now we're gonna head up and get us some food. Hey everybody, we're just kind of hanging out and enjoying the afternoon of our last day at sea here on the Carnival Freedom. I just wanted to point out a few things um, that we have found out today. Um, we had a question about our onboard sign and sale account, or sale and sign, the onboard account. We had a question because we had a couple of charges come up that we weren't real sure about. Um, we got the cheers package this time. Uh, first time we've ever got that on the cruise, we just thought we'd try it out. Uh, mostly for the sodas and the specialty coffees and stuff, but occasionally we've enjoyed a few frosty beverages throughout the course of the cruise. But we did find out that even though you're not charged gratuities on the Cheers package, if you are in a U.S. port, San Juan, Key West, or Miami, you will be charged taxes, and that will show up on your onboard account um, as a additional charge at that specific bar. We weren't aware of that, just wanted to point it out to y'all. Um, the other thing is, I don't know how well y'all can see it in the background back there, but can I zoom in and find it? Probably not. Of course I can, there it is. Um, the Oasis of the Seas has came alongside us. I uh, guess they're trying to race us back to Miami. What a good parking place. Doesn't look quite so. <laughs> yeah, Dougie just said they're trying to find a good parking space. <laughs> Not at all. If it does 
doesn't turn, it's going to cross our path. Yeah, it is. They're not slowing down. thing I have ever seen. That boat crossed in front of our bow. Yeah, it's nine, almost nine, almost 7.30 p.m. That boat is headed towards the island off in the distance. So I don't know what's going on with that. I have my suspicions, but you know. station to be called. We chose the uh, the express debarkation which is the self-assist. Uh, basically we're carrying our own bags. Yeah we tried that whole check your bag thing. It was a hot mess. Yeah we, we, we like she said that was a that was a bad deal. Well I thought it was supposed to save time. Yeah. Then you had to everybody else that checked their bags wade through all of that to try to find your bags. And it just wasn't a good experience for us. So we're, uh, we're carrying our own off the ship today. Um, they're supposed to start calling um, muster stations and then uh, luggage tag numbers shortly after we get clearance. Um, hopefully that won't be too much longer, but we'll just kind of see where it goes. Yep. Hey, everybody, just an update. We, uh, we made it off the Freedom uh, this morning at about 8.30. It took us uh, what, 20 minutes, 20 yeah, minutes from the time we left our cabin until we stepped out into the parking lot outside the terminal was 20 minutes. Uh, really smooth process, but we carried our own bags with us. We went through uh, the customs procedures there at Miami. Um, we made it to the Jeep, and we are headed back to Kentucky. We actually stopped for the night uh, here in Georgia. Uh, we've been on the road since we left this morning at about 8.30. It's taking our time, getting it, going up through, just taking our time. Yeah, it's, it's 6 p.m. right now, so we're just kind of taking our time and our way back home. So we're, uh, we're playing it safe, and we're seeing the sights along the way. So uh, we'll keep y'all posted. We all have our own beautiful areas around our homes, but you can't, uh, you know, it's just too pretty. It's too pretty not to be calling it home. At this time, welcome to Kentucky. Okay, 
really. It's always fun and everything's so beautiful. Most of the areas that we get to go visit, get to go see, but home's where the beauty is, right? That's for all of us. Y'all have a good one. Bye now.